Good evening, everyone. A deal this evening for a former Appleton special education teacher charged with abusing her students. A deal that may keep her free. Mary Berglund was sentenced to three years probation, meaning for now she will not spend any time behind bars. Now, in January, she was suspended and ultimately fired from Janet Berry Elementary School for reports of child abuse. Today, she pleaded no contest to battery charges as well as child ab as a child abuse charge. However, that charge will be dropped if she does not violate her probation. Some parents felt the sentence was too light. Fox 11's Beth Jones has balanced coverage. This was a severe violation of trust. Despite that, the judge gave no jail time to former special education teacher Mary Berglund. But the judge told Berglund her actions were uncalled for. Push a head down. Grab someone by the back of the neck. Slap a hand. Uh, lay across somebody. Uh, push someone away by the neck who is attempting to uh, bite, but certainly not the tools and the methodologies uh, of a professional special education instructor. The abuse was said to have dated back to 2009 and involved students described as nonverbal or low functioning. Berglund and her attorney would not answer any questions after court. No actual physical injuries. In court, Berglund's attorney admitted Berglund lost her temper at times and didn't deny her behavior was inappropriate, but said jail time just didn't fit the crime. Everybody, I think, agrees in this courtroom that there is no premeditation, there's no evil intent. And that's important to understand as well. I miss teaching because I wanted to be a teacher since second grade. Berglund also addressed the court in a tear-filled statement. I go to bed at night thinking, is this a dream? It can't be real. And I pray that I continue strengthening myself for my family and myself to be a better person in the community. But the parent of one of the victims told the judge she wanted Berglund behind bars. She said the emotional damage still lingers. We have blurred the parent's image to protect the child. I've seen such an emotional change. The judge felt probation was enough for Berglund. He did make one final recommendation. Berglund must tell others her story to prevent something like this from happening again. If you could just prevent, as a result of your conversation, one other incident of this ever happening again, then something good would come from uh, this tragedy for everyone. In Chilton, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News. And if Berglund does violate any terms or conditions of her probation, she will be put in jail. Berglund has also lost her teaching license.